Hey, welcome back to Morning Lives. Today on Take It Outside, Nicola is back on the trail with the Dundas Valley Trail Master. Yes, and she learns the unique history of those well-used paths. Well, we're on location at the Dundas Valley Conservation doing some, uh, well, I guess nature skiing and nature hiking for me. I've got my snowshoes on today. Bruce McKenzie uh, is joining us again today. And obviously, you're an avid cross-country skier, but you're also very knowledgeable on what's going on around here. And I was really interested to learn from you just moments ago that we have, we have flying squirrels here. Yes, we do. The southern <laughs> flying squirrel. And in the winter time, one of the sort of the nature nuggets I like about them to yeah. tell the children is that flying squirrels make friends with a lot of flying squirrels in the winter time to survive the cold temperatures at night. Right. And they'll share a hollow in a tree and they'll form a ball of flying <laughs> squirrels. So cute. And the one in the middle gets really warm and then he'll move out to the outside of the ball. And so this ball is sort of constantly Hi, rolling. Around. So they can share the heat from each other to survive the the cold nights. They are they are nocturnal, but when it's really cold, they yeah. prefer to be in a group rather than out hunting. And when Smart it's warm, creatures. yeah. <laughs> Well, you know what, and that's just one of the many exciting nature stories that you can share with your children on the trails. We're, we're obviously uh, spoiled for trails. Another cool thing that you were telling me is that you were here in the 70s when many of these trails were forged, and you were lucky in that the farmers who had been here before you left you a pretty good road map. They did. We just had the, the challenge of finding where their trails were. They had made the cart tracks. Uh, up and down uh, the hills in the valley and once we were able to discover their old cart tracks we yeah. were able to connect them into 40 kilometers of trails with very little heavy construction. That's really interesting and we so appreciate that you took the time to do this. Now you're cross-country skiing there are uh, a few little rules and also a, an exciting thing for cross-country skiers just in the last couple of weeks that you've done. Yes we've identified some of the trails in the west end of the Dundas Valley as being uh, set aside for cross-country skiers. That's we right. ask uh, walkers not to walk on the ski trails, on ski tracks where they find them. And there's a reason for that. It's easier to follow laid out tracks. So if someone's gone before you and put some nice cross country ski tracks in the snow for you, you can follow them. So it's easier all around. Right? That's, that's right. And with 40 kilometers of trails, there's room for the equestrians, there's room for the hikers, and there's room for cross country skiers. Yeah, there's room for everybody. You see a lot of horses here. It's kind of nice. It brings the country into the city. Love it. We're so lucky to have it. Obviously, uh, there's a little bit of, a, of etiquette when it comes to any sport and any conservation. We want to stay on the trail and not go into the forest. The trails are here for a reason, right? Yes. And we want to stick to the right. And for the skiers, we can ask them to go to the right. And with uh, hikers, if they could just avoid the set tracks from the cross-country skiers, um, then everybody will be a little bit happier and be uh, able to use the area a little better. Sounds good. Shall we, shall we head over to the orchard? I want to see what's going on in there. I know that's where the deer are hiding. We'll find some deer beds. Okay, we're going. That's it for this edition of Take It Outside. I hope you're inspired to come check out the trails. Nicola, I live beside that park, and I did not know about the flying squirrels there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's awesome. something. That's a neat story about how they uh, snuggle together, Isn't too. Isn't that so cute? Yeah. I wonder who the first squirrel to come up with the idea was, though. I'm not <laughs> yeah. sure if I'm comfortable with that. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> but, Nicola, you were saying yesterday it's such a good workout, which is really oh, cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what? Actually, snowshoeing is a really great workout. And I, when we shot that in as well today, icy conditions right now. So you want right. to wear something that you can actually hit the trails and get through on. Uh, Cross-country skiing, another good option for you if you're thinking about heading out today.